Welcome to Honest Whispers Preview for Sale. On this video I'll be previewing Wonder Woman Series 1 Cersei Action Figure. Released by DC Direct back in December 5th, 2007. Designed by Terry Dodson and sculpted by Jack Matthews. All figures in the series are approximately 6 and 3 quarter inches tall. But this one is actually about... A, seven inches this figure has nine points of articulation one on the neck two shoulders two elbows two hips and two knees but due to her costume you really can't see her points of articulations or the seam lines which is always a plus I'm gonna go over six different categories to review this First category is design, which basically covers the look, the concept, and the pose. And this one, straight off the bat, I mean, it just looks really nice. Uh, really captures Terry Dodson's um, Cersei in the Wonder Woman comic books. It's basically like 2D come to life in this figure, as well as most of the figures in the series. Very nicely done, and the pose itself, even though it's predetermined, once again, because you can't see the the points of articulations, and the pose itself really captures uh, how she looks, or even, I guess you could say, acts in the comic book. So it really captures the essence of Cersei, so I do like that a lot. It does have a nice look overall. I don't have you know much complaints other than the belt right here in the middle I guess you could call it a belt buckle or whatever the case in the comic book it's supposed to be like a magical light so in this it just doesn't look as good I would have maybe try to design it with maybe different materials maybe something like translucent materials but just the way this looks uh, it looks Kind of sloppy looking, almost like a colorful cotton candy that got stuck on the front of her belt. So therefore, the design, I give it a near perfect 9 out of 10. Next category is sculpting, which basically covers the details, the execution, and uh, the quality of the molding. And this one... Uh, starting off from the top, hair looks amazing, a lot of nice details. It does have a nice uh, realistic look to it. Uh, the cape, just the way it's flowing like that, very realistic look as well. Uh, so it doesn't look all generic, even the loincloth, just the way it's not overdone, nice folds. And of course her costume. Very nice details. You know, it's like an intricate little design here or there. I know you can't really see her, uh, I guess her body suit as well. But a lot of nice seam lines here and there. You could see some, uh, I guess her belt as well and gloves just overall very nicely done very consistent I don't see any molding issues as far as uh, something that you know just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb now her face though uh, isn't bad but I think it could have been a little better it just from the side it just looks like her face Especially her bottom part just looks a bit flat Especially when you look at her cheeks as well But otherwise, I mean it's just a minor really something you have to look really closely at to tell uh, So overall the sculpting is done really well on this Therefore I give it a near perfect 9 out of 10 Next category is colors, basically covers the accuracy of the colors, quality of the paint, 
and quality of paint application and this one like pretty much all the figures in the series uh, do like how they mixed uh, glossy finish with matte finish so you can tell her body her costume uh, not the body like her skin which is matte finish but her costume like her bodysuit has a nice glossy black finish to it uh, armor looks kind of shiny but uh, it doesn't really have a gloss finish to it but it's not matte at the same time so it's pretty nice how they did like this in between effect so really has this silver kind of finish to it uh, everything else pretty much matte finish like her cape and everything so really stands out paint application overall nicely done I don't have too much issues she doesn't have pupils in her eyes so you're not gonna have any uh, googly eye or cross-eyed issues but the location and size of her eyes just seems slightly off it just seems like her left eye or for us her, her, the right side looks a little bit lower and darker and maybe even slightly bigger but again something you have to look very closely at to tell otherwise the last issue I have here is that little magic light ball that I was talking telling you about and again it just looks like cotton candy but when you look closely at the paint application there is some bleeding going on and just looks a little sloppy so Otherwise, I don't have any issues with it, and I'm sure every figure is different, especially on that part. So, some might have it better, some might have it worse. Either way, the way I see on this figure, I think the coloring is pretty good overall. Therefore, I give it a 9 out of 10. Next category is packaging, which basically covers... The design and the look of the package and this is your uh, what you would call a blister card packaging or even a bubble card packaging uh, pretty nice layout colors it definitely matches the theme of the comic book and also the other figures in the series but uh, the shape and everything is pretty common and of course the card itself is common so they didn't individualize the card or anything like that. Same way they didn't individualize the base, which I didn't really go over, but you can't see it behind, you know, behind the cape. But it just has Wonder Woman logo on it. So it's not individualized, doesn't have Cersei's name on it. And even on the back, it has all of their names and info. So they used the same card for all the other figures in the series. The only difference is that they printed out a sticker with their name on it and just stuck it on it so therefore the packaging I mean it's average but it looks nice so I give it a slightly above average score 6 out of 10 next category is value value pretty much covers uh, suggested retail price versus aftermarket price and retail and aftermarket price versus the quality well to start off with the quality uh, no matter price what you get at at this point uh, the quality itself is definitely worth it it's just a matter of if you like Cersei or if you just need this to complete your you know series so otherwise there isn't much demand on this figure uh, because when it first came out, this was, I believe, $12.99. It could have been $9.99, but I'm pretty sure it was $12.99 or around there for sure. Nothing higher, though. Not higher than $12.99. And right now, you could probably find it for almost the same price. Uh, maybe, you know, $20. I've seen an average around $20 for a new one. I've seen even like ones that are slightly lower but with shipping included you're still paying a little over 25 so like 15 like 15.99 plus shipping so really not much aftermarket value here therefore even if you buy that 20 dollars or 
fifteen dollars. The quality itself is definitely worth it. But this is out of the four figures in the series, the least uh, demanded, therefore uh, the lowest aftermarket value. And also, I do want to point out that this Cersei looks nice, but unfortunately, uh, Terry Dodson's version of Cersei really didn't last that long. So unless they bring this costume and look back, uh, I just know that, you know, with the new 52 or the rebirth, the Cersei doesn't look the same. So they may, you may never see this variation of Cersei again. So again, on the long run, the, the demand just won't be there compared to the other characters in the series. Therefore, I give the value score just slightly above average, 6 out of 10. Final category is overall, which basically accumulates the five prior categories, design, sculpting, colors, packaging, and value. And this basically overall is nice, but again, key points. It's just this variation of Cersei didn't last long, um, short history, therefore the demand won't be there. Uh, I don't see much people really collecting this unless they need it to complete the other characters so bit of a setback otherwise when you just look at the character itself the way it looks the way it's been designed uh, the details and everything it's definitely nice and it does stand out for a figure for this price range or you know or in this quality range so it is a bit of a mix, uh, so therefore I give the overall score, score a pretty high score, an 8 out of 10. So to recap, design, 10 out of 10. Sculpting, 9 out of 10. Colors, 9 out of 10. Packaging, 6 out of 10. Value, 6 out of 10. And overall, 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Continue reading the King James Version Bible and eat your vitamin C daily.